What's up guys, it's Cyberfallon, and today I have another card discussion for you guys, and this time it's not an Ancient Gear card. I know I've been talking a lot about them lately, but what can I say, I just love the archetype, and I'm really happy they got some new support cards. But enough about that, it's time to talk about the new spell card that's coming out in Raging Tempest, and that card is Lawn Mowing Next Door. A normal spell card that states, if you have more cards in your deck than your opponent, send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard until you have the same number of cards in your deck as your opponent. A very simple card effect that can be absurdly powerful in the right deck. Right now I can only think of about 3 decks that can profit from the excessive mills this card is capable of. And they are Burning Abyss Phantom Knights, Light Swords, and Infernoids. All three of these decks play off of milling cards to the graveyard or utilizing the grave as a second hand, and Lawn Mowing Next Door really helps with that playstyle. Imagine going first, with the way most decks play nowadays, searching and adding cards to hand, dumping cards from deck to grave, or even special summoning from the deck. All of these things thin out your opponent's deck, and sometimes is done multiple times in a turn. If you open Lawn Mowing Next Door, you'll more than likely be able to mill 5 if not more cards to the grave. Now imagine if your opponent is playing Pot of Desires. Pot of Desires makes this card easily mill over 10 cards, and that's just playing a standard 40 card deck. If you're playing 50 or even 60 cards, this card can automatically mill 10 to 20 cards going first and even more if you're going second. All of these mills give Infernoids incredible summon potential first turn, as well as protection and disruption with cards like Void Seer and Breakthrough Skill. For Burning Abyss Phantom Knights, milling Fog Blades, Silent Boots, Ancient Cloak, Seer, Graph, and even Skarm, turn one can make for incredible plays and strong boards that are hard for your opponent to deal with. Now I know, Playing 50 to 60 cards does decrease the chance of opening Lawn Mowing next door, but let's remember, it is searchable with something like Left Arm Offering. The only real downside this card has is that it can be a dead draw later in the game, especially if you're playing against a deck that's slower. It all really comes down to whether you feel your deck needs that extra milling or not. I feel the only deck that will really be using this would probably be Infernoids, but we'll just have to wait and see. As for now, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about Lawn Mowing Next Door. Will it be a good card in certain decks giving them a nice boost? Or is it just pack filler that'll be forgotten as time passes? But as always, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Later YouTube!